Hey folks, welcome to Advent of Code 2022, day one. Um, I hope you're all as excited as I am. Um, I did this problem earlier on and nice, easy start to uh, Advent of Code 2022, as we kind of would expect from day one. But um, yeah, so had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, I'm joined today in my office by my little helper, Kim Chi. If you, if you follow my videos, you may see her in some videos. She did nothing to help me solve the problem, but you know, she wants to be here anyway, so. Um, right, before we jump into the uh, first problem, um, I'll just throw up my GitHub here. So if you wanna follow along with my solutions to these problems, you can find me on GitHub at uh, carei3. Um, I'll throw a link in the description as well. Uh, and pinned to my profile, you've got the AOC underscore 2022 repo, which is all of my solutions for uh, each day. So each day under solutions folder, I will upload all of my code uh, for that day. Uh, you can have a look. Um, so with that out of the way, yes, Kat? Huh? Can't help you. Um, with that out of the way, let's get into the problem for day one. So this problem we start off, we've got, um, basically we're in a jungle with a bunch of elves and we're collecting a magical star fruits. So that's the start of <laughs> this year's uh, magical Christmas journey. Um, so basically the whole shtick is we've got a bunch of elves and they all have supplies that they're carrying with them for this arduous trek. Um, and written out in a list, which is our puzzle input, is the number of calories that each elf is carrying uh, in their supply packs. Um, so basically it's just a list of numbers, integers, and they're separated by a blank space delineating which how much is carried by each elf. So the sum of the first three here in the example is the amount of calories that that elf is carrying and so on and so forth as you go down. So, the first part is we want to know what is the total amount of calories that the elf who's carrying the most has. All right, so we'll go to the code. Um, there's, a lot, there's a few different ways to approach this. Um, well, first of all, let's just throw it up. And there we go. So for my input, uh, that was my answer. Executes uh, pretty damn quickly. Um, so basically what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to read in each line, um, sum together the calories for each elf, and then you're gonna want to figure out what the biggest number there is. So this is kind of just some extra steps added to the very simple programming problem of what's the largest number in this array. So the order n solution is you iterate through every record and you keep a track of what the, the biggest value is each time. Thanks, Kat. Um, so you start off with, you know, taking the first one as the biggest value and you add that in and then you check against the next one. If it's bigger, you make that the biggest value and you just keep doing that till you reach the end of the array. And then you should have the biggest value left. Um, so that's a simple approach to do this. Um, I went a little bit more complicated with it um, as I'm apt to do at times, but I did have kind of good reason for it. So what I did was I started with a hash of elves. So I'll use the term hash and for Ruby. This is a dictionary or basically it's a hash set. So it's got, you know, order one time complexity for accessing a specific index in it. And you can then store basically key values. So what I was doing was create this uh, hash of all the elves. Then I have this convenience method down here, which is really simple. Uh, it's basically just iterating through every line in my f input, which I've stored as a file. And then I do some logic on each line. So if it's a blank line, that means that we've reached the, we've reached the blank line underneath a set of elves. So we know that all of the values before were for one elf and all the values we're gonna get now until the next blank line are for another elf. So I'm incrementing a counter here, which essentially is the index for the elves. Um, and then what else do I do in here? Yeah, so I also store a tracking value for what is the most calories, the value for the most calories, and then what is the index for that, which is the elf count. 
So I'm kind of doing double jobbing here because really all you need is an array to do this. You just iterate through whenever you find a break, you just sum together, uh, you know, the counting sum of what you had, you store that into the array, and then every value in the array is the total number of calories for the elves. And then at the very end, you gather all that up by just saying, well, what's the largest value in that array? But that would require you to, so whatever largest value in the array is, you then have to sort the array. So you don't necessarily need to do that because you can just do it with, well, what's the, just track the most calories. So you don't need an array. All you're doing is just summing up values as you count, and then you just store what that count is. And then, yeah, so down here, this is basically just, if we were using an array, this would just be insert into the array because I'm using a hash. There's just a little bit more logic here to check, does the key exist in the hash already? If not, you have to, if it doesn't exist, you insert a value. If it does exist, you sum that value, which is what I've done here. So that's basically, as I read each line, I need to either just insert that into the hash or I need to sum what the last line was to add it all up at the end. Um, so yeah, for, for me here, <laughs> this most cals value i'm basically almost not even using the um the 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 hash that i created but because i am wise to these problems um i kind of know what's going to happen next so the idea usually with this is you'll get a simple approach and then you'll have to make it a little bit more complicated so the simple approach to this is just have a counter which holds the the largest value but i figured there'd probably be something to do with aggregating across all of the uh, the elves or indexing specifically for a certain range of elves which is why i went with the hash approach even though afterwards i figured that an array would actually suffice so for the second part what you're asked to do is you're asked to figure out what is the total number of calories carried by the top three elves carrying carrying the most calories so now if you had just done this most calorie count you wouldn't be able to solve this problem with the same code that you had because you're not keeping track of anything else all you're keeping track of is the number one uh, biggest value so you'd have to start trying to keep track of others so in this case it actually makes sense to build that array or in my case this hash that tells you all of the calories of all of the elves and conveniently for me this leads to part two's code being basically identical except for the very last line here so that's the only thing that's changed between my two pieces of code and what i've done here is i've taken my my elf hash i've asked for all the values from it spoiler all these values are just an array so if i had just generated an array of values that would have done the job um i sort this array uh, and then i reverse it i reverse it just to get it uh in descending order the default sort will do it in ascending order and um, I take a slice of that array from zero to three which will give me just a three elements and then I sum them together and that's it simple as that and that gives the that gives the final results so if I run day two there we go also quite quick um and actually yeah and this, this should be quite quick it should be almost the same as the first one uh, given that we build the same data structure and then we just perform some small operations on it and um, it's also not that much data the file is pretty small for it so i would imagine it should take about the same time to do both parts so yeah that is about it slightly over complicated problem slightly over complicated solution to a very simple problem but still one that I had a lot of fun doing so i hope you guys enjoyed that hope you learned it learned something from it um you find a link in the description as i said to github where you can find this solution along with all my others as we go forward and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you all tomorrow.